Who were your master? Master name of Freeman. Was he a learned man? I suppose so. He learned you to read? A word here or there. But I've no understanding of the written text. Don't trouble yourself with it. Same as the rest, Master bought you here to work, that's all. Any more, I'll earn you a hundred lashes. Welcome back. You just saw a scene from the critically acclaimed film 12 Years a Slave. It has been nominated for nine Academy Awards. And now the National School Boards Association just announced that powerful film, based on the memoir by the very same name, will be distributed to public high schools across the country. TV personality Montel Williams played a key role in coordinating the distribution of the film to schools. And guess what? He is here with me right now. It is always a delight. You gave Thank a little you. fist pump. I this did. means a lot to you. 23 years ago, I was involved in getting the motion picture Glory distributed in every high school across America. And it became a curriculum in lots of places across this country. People, were, I was told by, by a person yesterday, they were called into an auditorium and they had to sit down and watch the movie Glory. Well, I was at a special screening of the movie. I sat beside Steve McQueen mm -hmm. and uh, Chiwetel, and we were talking, and Steve McQueen said his dream was to always have this movie in schools. And I said, really? Okay. <laughs> this was three weeks before Christmas. Three weeks before Christmas. And here we are. And here we are. And, and what was crazy is because everything just kind of came together. Fox Searchlight came together. You know, the National School Board came together. And I went down and spoke before them, and I said, look, this is an opportunity for us to have something that tells the truth mm and can emotionally involve children in a way that they'll understand what the pain of this era caused, and it could cause again. It was one of my questions for mm -hmm. you. How, how do we do that? Because teaching history to kids, especially kids today, mm -hmm. when they've got all of the newfangled devices and technology, and we have this sort of, um, I don't know, a lack of patience for stories, it would seem. Mm -hmm. How do we make it relevant to today's kids? How do we make them feel? I think it's a testament to Steve McQueen and all the actors in this movie. You can't watch this movie. Without being without, moved. You can't. Yeah, I know. If you aren't moved, there's something wrong with you. No ifs, ands, or buts. I mean, I, I sat in a, in a special screening here in New York City, and I turned around at one point in time, the entire room was crying yeah. now. Do you say that I don't want to see it because it's going to make me cry? No, you need to see well, it. Well, to that because... end, let's have that discussion because the fact is, these are this is slightly more sensitive audience, high school kids. We're talking about showing these sure. to high school kids. But they're the ones who are going to change America. How do we couch though? Because I don't believe that we should shy away.